What's up, everybody? Um, so I was asked to do a sort of a lesson for Am I the Only One by Aaron Lewis. I guess that's the name of the song now. Um, I guess that's the official name. It didn't even have a name when I first learned this song. Um, but basically, there are different ways to play this. Um, I've run across some really bullshit versions out there, but this particular version is as close as I could get to what I noticed he was, you know, what I think he was playing. Uh, when I learned this, the, the only video that I could find was on a grainy cell phone and he was setting like way away. So I just kind of had to figure it out. I've got, got a fairly decent ear for music. Uh, so it's not super, you know, it, it didn't seem like it's not, it's not a super difficult song anyway. Um, there's, there's a few other country songs that have a, a similar progression. So first thing I'm going to uh, tell you is you need to be in standard half step tuning, uh, for this. A lot, a lot of his songs are in, are in standard half step. Drama pick. Um, anyway, so basically I'm also going to tell you too, that Though I know my chords, I know the name of my chords, there are variations of these chords that without my charting here in front of me, I, I couldn't tell you the exact uh, names for like all the suspended chords and stuff that are in this. So if you want to know that, once you know the positions, you can go and look up the charts yourself and write them down or whatever. Uh, now, one last thing is I'm sure that... Um, his his strumming pattern, his picking pattern, is different uh, than probably what I'm doing. Um, I not everybody will will pick everything uh, perfectly uh, exactly how another person plays it. Some people are a stickler for that. I've played with people that are, um, and if that's you, man, that's cool. Uh, but I'm sure if if uh, if if that's what you want, at least maybe these you know learning these chords will point you in the right direction and you can figure out the rest on your own uh i'm not going to be going over a lot of the strumming in this because i mean i don't want to make this video too long so but if you do need help with that and you would like that for me to break that part down uh, maybe request below and you know shoot me a sub or something and i will be happy to put out another video and go through that stuff so starting out, we're gonna be in the D position. So um, I'm not noting the bottom string in this. And I'm not not noting the first string in this, the, the bottom E. Um, so basically, I'm just going off of the off the D where it's uh, my first finger is on the third string, second fret. My uh, third finger is on the second string, third fret. And I'm noting the fourth string open. And I'm going to start this walk down here. And that's going to be with my pinky finger. It's going to be on the fifth string, fourth fret. And from that position, I'm going to go on into my using my first finger, this one. And I'm going to go to the fifth string, second fret. Okay. So, so that I don't confuse you here. It's now I'm gonna go to an A, but with this A, I am not lifting up this finger, uh, my third finger that's on the second string, third fret. I'm just I'm leaving it there. Uh, most of this progression, you're you're gonna keep it there anyway. So. Shit. And then we're gonna go to a G. I'm gonna walk this G down. So these these fingers here are staying where they are on the bottom. Uh, pinky finger on. I mean, everybody knows what a G is. Just in case you don't know where these fingers are down here on the bottom. Uh, pinky finger on the first uh, first string, third fret third finger is going to be on the second string third fret and then um, the only other note that I'm hitting here is with my 
first finger is going to be on the sixth string, second fret. Going into a full E minor. So these fingers out here have not moved. I'm taking these two, and it's going to be uh, first finger is going to be on the fifth string, second fret. Middle finger or second finger is going to be on the fourth string, second fret. Okay. And so up until that point, you've got. Walk the G down. E minor. Back to that A. Now, one thing that Aaron Lewis does here is uh, he hits this version of this A. Now, if you do notice, I've not moved these fingers. These fingers have stayed here. So, but I'm not noting. I mean, you can note that bottom string if you want to, but I'm I'm not. I'm just I'm just kind of strumming that out. It's the same position that that A was a second ago. Um, but you're, if you want to play it like he does, though, um, when you get to that A, when you get that last part, let me show you something. And you see what I did there? This, I, I just, I lifted this up. I lifted my pinky up and I slid this down. And what I'm hitting are um, your first finger is going to be on the fourth string, second fret. Your second finger is going to be on the third string, second fret. And your third finger is going to be on the uh, second string, third fret. It's a little confusing saying that out loud like that. Um, but hopefully you can kind of see what I've got there. Or, you know, some people may feel more comfortable just barring it, man. Um, just for me, it, it was, uh, it, you know, my fingers were already in position. I don't know why. It just felt comfortable for me to scoot that down and do it that way. But you could just, you know. So that is pretty much the whole song, guys. Like... I mean, um, and there's different ways you could pick that thing out. You can strum it out. Um, the the hook or the chorus is the exact same. There's a little variation that, that happens in the chorus. Let me show you. So the chorus, um, that I'm the only one still willing, willing to fight for my love of the red and white and the blue burning on the ground as the statue's coming down in a town near you now this is the variation and this kind of threw me when i was first uh listening to him play this so it's uh it just goes back to the g there watching the threads of old glory come undone So you already are doing the, if you've played with me up to this point, you're already playing that progression. You're just, when you get to that part, see, this is the, this is the hook. This is the chorus. It's the exact same as the verse. So chorus, that I'm the only one still willing to fight for my love of the red and white. I'm not trying to sing this and the blue burning on the ground that's the same thing you played for the the verse As the statues coming down in a town near you just when you get there instead of going back to the d you're just you're just going to go back to this g see what i did And you can always use that to, if you're playing with somebody or whatever, so they'll signal that, you know, that way they'll know that uh, you're, you're basically at the end of that progression and you're, you're starting over. So, so this is the hook. I'm going to play the hook without singing. I'm on the hook. I say the hook. I mean the chorus. Um, around here we say hook, chorus, whatever. So this is the chorus.
and then back to the verse. It's the same as the chorus. Except you then instead of right there, instead of going back to this G, you're just gonna go down to this D and repeat. Am I the only one here tonight? Shaking my head and thinking something ain't right. Is it just me? Losing my mind, standing on the edge of the time. And then, you know, so forth and so on on that verse, and then to your chorus. That I'm the only one still willing to fight for my love of the red and white and the blue. Burning on the ground as the statue's coming down in a town near you. Watching the threads of old glory come undone. Am I the only one? And that's congratulations. If you've got that, you've got the whole song. There's one more little variation piece that I gotta show you. It's my favorite part of the song. He takes a stab at Bruce Springsteen. So, um, this is how he does that. So, you're going to go to this. It's a B minor. Now, this is your traditional B minor. And you can catch this. Uh, it's a bar chord if you want to do it this way. But I'm not going to show you that. This is the way he does it. Um, you're you're going to catch like a power chord. A, a, okay? So it's going to be your first finger is going to go on the fifth string, second fret. And your third finger is going to go on the fourth string, fourth fret. And the chord that's right below that, your uh, G, your G chord. Um, sorry, I had a brain fart there. It's going to be hit open. So. So. And then you're going to walk you're going to use your first finger keeping this one where it is so your third finger is going to stay on that fourth string fourth fret and you're going to go with your first finger is going to go down here to the fifth string first fret a little stretch here so am i the only one quit singing along now when you say every time you're going to pull this, your first finger, and it's going to go down here to the third string, second fret. Okay? Third string, second fret. This one, your, your third finger is staying right where it was. So, let me get down here so you can see which ones. I think on this I may actually have to show you which how I'm, how I'm picking it out. So, it's... Uh, See? Or you can just, you know, you can just kind of strum it too. So, um, am I the only one who quit singing along every time they play a Springsteen song? So what I'm doing there is I'm doing a G variation. When he says Springsteen, all he's doing is hitting the G root note on the 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 sixth string third fret every time they play a and then when he says springsteen that's when he he's strumming them all so what what he does there is uh he's i'm trying to keep this where you guys can see so uh you're basically what i'm doing is i've got my second finger on the sixth string third fret first first finger is gonna go on the second string third fret and my third finger is going to be on the fourth string fourth fret okay and then you're going to strum all those every time they play a springsteen song and you're going to let that ring out 
every time they play a Springsteen song. And then, once that's rung out, what he does, he goes back to that G. You already know this progression. You recognize that? G to the step down to your E. A and that's A too. So you're going from that that uh, the little weird A suspended thing there to this A. So and that's it, man. That's the whole song. So I'll play it through here one time to give you something to kind of play with. Um, and I mean, if uh, if you want, you can go back and watch me play on my other video. Uh, and you'll get a, you know, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to me ramble on through most of it. Um, you probably pick it up a lot faster once you just know the chords. So, here we go. Am I the only one here tonight Shaking my head and thinking something ain't right Is it just me? Am I losing my mind? Standing on the edge of the end of time To the hook, or chorus That I'm the only one still willing to fight For my love of the red and white and the blue same thing as the other part burning on the ground as the statues coming down in a town near you now remember this part back to the g watching the threads of old glory come undone am i the only one am i the only one who quits singing Every time they play a Springsteen song Let it ring out you Recognize that part? That's it, man So hopefully if you guys got anything out of that And it helped you in any bit Please take a second, help me out, hit the sub, uh, and you know if you if you need any more lessons in the future, if you've got a song, maybe I could help you figure out. Um, you know, tell me in the comments. I'll see what I can do. You know, I I'll say it again. I don't I don't necessarily um, say for certain that this is down to the T exactly how Aaron plays it, but this will get you jamming it out with people. So there's a better version or a better teacher comes along that gets it out there and uh maybe i'll do an update video in the future if i come across you know a better way to play it or another way that i've you know if, you know something because I'm, I'm certain that i probably made some mistakes in there but um you know again when i learned this song there <laughs> the only way to 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 hear this was to hear that cell phone footage that i'm sure a lot of people have seen so um like I said, I think only just now has it recently got a real name to the song. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that, that helps you guys out and you guys got something out of that. So if, you know, basically that's it. And yeah, so hit the like button, help me out. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the kind words and everything. So hope you, hope you stick with me. Check out my other videos. Peace.